Hello once again, this is Ryan Syndicate 910. Thanks for watching. In a video posted by Tommy from the Bronx, he made a statement. Actually, he asked a question in the video that it so greatly offended me that I actually didn't want to make a video about it in response to it because I was afraid I was going to say something to Tommy that would completely, you know, bypass his attention. He'd only he'd be so offended when I asked my question in response to his that he would just take off, you know, he would just completely miss the point. But I just waited, I've waited too long, and I'm, I'm just going to make the video and let the chips fall where they may. Uh, Tommy, I'm going to ask my question a little bit later in the video. You asked a question in your video, if I understand you correctly, you asked a question of Muslims living in America that if the United States was invaded by Muslims, would the Muslims living here be loyal to America and fight and defend their country, or would they side with their Muslim brethren, you know, turning against America and their neighbors? It's interesting that you pose that question, because that was the same question that was circulating in people's minds in the 1930s about Japanese Americans, you know. Uh, you know, the Japanese who were born in Japan and came over here were known as Issei, and then of course you had the Japanese who were born in the United States, and they were known as Nisei, and people doubted their loyalty. The whole racial tie thing. And uh, that's why after Pearl Harbor was attacked, uh, they were all locked up. Issei and Nisei together were locked up in camps. And the Nisei were allowed to join the United States military, and of course, uh, later on, uh, the word circulated of the heroism of the 442nd and 100th Battalion. And uh, much later, after the war, the work of the military intelligence uh, unit of Japanese Americans had helped uh, decode uh, and translate uh, Japanese transmissions during the war. So their patriotism was beyond doubt. Now, Tommy, you asked the same question of Muslims. You know, would they be more loyal to their co-religionists than to their neighbors here in the United States? Well, certainly you can't speak for all of them. Certainly you're going to have people here and there they are going to side with whatever opposing force there might be. For example, Tommy, did you know that during World... This is not the main question. That in the 1930s there was a group of German-Americans who formed the German-American Bund and who organized an American Nazi party. And some of those German-Americans went over to Europe when the United States was you know, gearing up for war with Germany and they joined the German military and fought against America. You know, these are Germans. But let's move on. You want to know if Muslims in America could be loyal to America or would they be more loyal to their fellow Muslims? Let me show you a picture of a young man his name is Kareem Rashad Sultan Khan. He's born in uh, Neptune, New Jersey, February 12th of 1987. You might have heard this name before. If not, I'm going to remind you. A month after he graduated high school, he joined the Army. That's all he wanted to do the whole time he was growing up. He wanted to join the Army. He wanted to make the Army his career. He enlisted in the Army immediately after graduation and was sent to Iraq in July of 2006. And we'll show you another picture. This picture is his mother standing by his grave. On the 6th of August 2007, Kareem Rashad Sultan Khan was killed when the house that he and three other men were clearing was destroyed in a blast. He gave his life for his country, the United States of America. So, Tommy, I, I don't know if you'd have the courage to walk up to Kareem's mother and ask her, uh, Mrs. Khan, if Muslims invaded America, would you side with the, the foreign Muslim invaders or would you help Americans? You know, I don't think you could say anything to her, Tommy, because she's already given her son for this country. He's buried in Arlington National Cemetery, probably one of the most prestigious cemeteries in the United States. You can't doubt his patriotism. He's not the only Muslim that, that died. 
Um, it, it's very hard to determine the total number of people of any particular religion who have been killed in the war on terror. Uh, the, the, mili- the Pentagon simply does not keep statistics like that, like how many Muslims, how many Catholics, how many Jews. So you pretty much have to rely on, on press releases or take a walk through Arlington National Cemetery because a reporter for a newspaper did in fact do exactly that and he found not only Kareem Khan's um, tombstone with the star and crescent, he also found other Muslims um, buried in from previous wars such as World War II Korea. So Tommy, what more do you need to know? Muslims be willing to fight and die? They have. More than once. So far, the best number we can come up with is seven in the current war. But there are thousands that are serving. Can you doubt their patriotism? Thousands of American Muslims overseas right now fighting the war on terror. So my question to you, Tommy, is in the same vein, I mean, since you have the suspicion in your head that people are going to be more loyal to their co-religionists than to America, or there's a possibility of that. You know, since crime is on the upswing in, in many parts of the country in terms of property crime, yeah, you can assume that organized crime would be on the uptake, and probably the most well-known organized crime group in America has got to be the Italian Mafia. Now, Tommy, I know that you're Italian, so I, I, I'm wondering, Tommy, I'm very concerned since you're an Italian and there's an Italian mafia. Now, if the Italian mafia were to come into your neighborhood, Tommy, and ask you to kill your Irish neighbor, you know, just like go over there and put a bullet in that old mix head. Now, would you stand with your fellow Italians and off the Irishman, or would you stand with your Irish neighbor? I mean, you know, <laughs> you Italians, you know, I mean, we didn't have the mafia until the Italians showed up. God knows what happened after that, how well, the Italians come here and, whoop, whoop, here's the mafia. So you got to wonder, I mean, how you, you know, Tommy, you being an Italian and everything, I'm just, I'm very concerned, Tommy. Would you side with the mafia? Your fellow Italians, the mafia? Or would you side with America, Tommy? That question offend you at all? Maybe just a little bit. That I think that, ooh, he's an Italian, so therefore he must sympathize with Italian criminals? That's what Al-Qaeda is. They're Muslims and they're criminals. To associate Al-Qaeda with all Muslims everywhere is like associating all Italians with the Mafia. If the Italian Mafia, they're criminals, oh, then they, they tar all Italians. Or like the Sicilian Mafia, does it make all Sicilians criminals? No. The vast majority of Italians, the vast majority of Sicilians are not criminals, and we all know this. Same way as the Yakuza is a Japanese crime syndicate, doesn't make all Japanese criminals. Okay, so your question, Tommy, was offensive. And it was bigoted. And I never thought I would I would apply that word to you, Tommy. So, I mean, 9-11 was a horrible thing, but, dude, I, I just don't, um, it happened in the city you live in. But uh, let me point to you another uh, horrific event that happened in uh, Honolulu, Hawaii, an example that you cited yourself, Pearl Harbor. The war um, was initiated when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, and they also attacked Wheeler Air Force Base. Did the people in Hawaii hold grudges against the Japanese? Not really. <laughs> I mean, the Japanese uh, tourists, one of the first places they want to go is pay their respects at the Arizona Memorial in Pearl Harbor. When they are there, they are very respectful, very solemn, and remorseful according to friends of mine who've been tour guides and have gone on tours at Pearl Harbor. So anyway, Tommy, I hope you, um, if you've got this idea in your head that Muslims will sympathize with Al-Qaeda because Al-Qaeda is all Muslims, it's like Italians all sympathizing with the Mafia because the Mafia are Italians, Tommy. Okay? Think about it. It's a Ryan Syndicate, 910. Thanks for watching.